Hello and welcome back to vHelix for Maya. Now in this video I'm going to show you a little bit more of the features that we have implemented and in particular how to render the DNA different, uh, different ways of visual aids that we have and also how to put a DNA sequence on one of the strands and how that then calculates the DNA sequence on the other strands and uh, to export that to Excel. So uh, what you do uh, okay, so let's go. So as you can see here, I have designed a crossover molecule where we have one strand going through the whole structure, and then we have the black and the, the yellow strand that is tying it together. So if we zoom in a little bit, I will start showing you the, the visual aids that we have available. So as you can see while I'm selecting bases here, uh, there is a red halo being created around these bases and also the endpoints um, the 5 prime and 3 prime endpoints are marked uh, of this strand so it can be an easy way to identify the endpoints if I click here where is the endpoints oh they're here uh, this rendering can be turned off if you go to the helix menu render and uncheck halo then you won't see these halos if you think they're annoying uh, also the these question marks they're actually the sequence so if I uncheck that we won't see the question marks anymore and these connection lines here you can also turn that those off and these directional arrows that I was talking about can also be turned off here or on. So let's keep it like this for a while. Uh, another thing is that if you're working on a big model, you don't, you might not want to show everything as individual bases that uh, can uh, reduce the performance when you're working in the viewport. So in that case, you can hide, you can mask some of your uh, some of your DNA by going to toggle cylinder or basis view. So in this case I had one of my strands selected and then I press toggle basis or cylinder view. If I don't have anything selected and press this then everything will turn into cylinders or bases respectively. So you toggle between these two. And even in the bases in the cylinder view you can actually have, you actually see some of the color coding for the, the different strands. Uh, so this can be helpful when you're, as I said, when you're working with a large model and you need to work on only this strand, for example, then we can hide everything else in cylinders and that will speed things up. So that's that. And then also you can select, let's select everything here. And if you want to render this, you'll notice that if you want to show this to one of your colleagues and a printout or something, you have to take a screencast basically because uh, Maya cannot render these bases. Uh, but what you can do is you can select, you can select um, create curves from strands, and that will create some CV curves corresponding to to the bases that we just created. And of course, here you can use Maya's. Um, Maya's uh, normal extrude tools. So let's create a let's create a NURBS uh, circle, and then just uh, make that smaller, and then yeah, surfaces extrude to get these worm-like DNA model. So something like this, and now you can you can render this out. Um, so that's that's something you can do if you need to print this out in nicer form. And now let's see for the design part. You of course you want to export. You want to see what type of bases you have in all the strands. So let's say I want to add sequence to this gray strand, and I want to know what sequence I need for the black and the yellow one. So select the first base where you want to add, start adding your bases, and then take check apply sequences. And here I'm gonna just copy some sequence that I had. 
and then enter that sequence here. And now, not, nothing really happened here, but if we turn on render sequence and then check the strands, you see that the sequence is actually applied now. So if we want to export this into something like an Excel file, uh, you, you take export strands and then let's save this on the desktop. Let's save it as a comma separated value file. Strands dot C CSV and then let's go to Excel. And here in the data menu, you take from text and then it's the limited comma finish. And then we get the strands out in an easy way where you can also see the starting points of every strand. And this is the sequence that you have for each strand. Now, if you're doing something like an origami design, by default, this will also output the scaffold since it's outputting all the strands. So if you don't, you just discard the longest one if you don't want to order that, of course. Okay, so that's been a look at some of the additional features in vHelix for Maya. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next. See you in the next video.